All right, here we are. We are going to do a reenactment of when I first heard of Ranma One Half through that Jedi One review that I showed to you before. Back in October of 2014, of when I saw it, and you will see how I reacted to when I first heard of it. So, remember, this is a reenactment. And we are going to tell you how uh, Rama One Half's nostalgia and cult status shocked me. So, without further ado, we are going to start looking at Jedi One's video and, of course, react it in the same way as I did way back in 2014 when watching this review for the first time. And yes, I knew Jedi One from the WCW Nitro and Criticom reviews that I saw of him. But this is Street Combat we're talking about here. So, let's start the video now. Street Fighter 2. The game that popularized a whole genre full of video games. The 2D fighting game. A lot of game mm -hmm. companies try to put out their own clones of Street Fighter to try and share the same success. Well, then again, without Street Fighter 2, there would have never been Tekken, never would have been Virtual Fighter, heck, there would have never been Darkstalkers, no Marvel vs. Capcom, no nothing, if it weren't for the big success of this game. But okay, moving on. But then some of them just failed miserably, as you see with this game. Okay, this game, let's, let's see it, shall we? Irem. Hey, I actually know Irem. Oh, of course, yeah, Irem. I knew Irem from this game. Yay, remember that? Yep. The company that brought to you our type made this game that I have absolutely never heard of. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's uh, continue. Ja, what has Irem really just done? The developers of our type, what have they done? Yeah, and how stupid can it be? It sure looks pretty goofy from the looks of it. Hmm. And this was a game from your childhood. Hmm. Interesting. I never played it because I never knew it existed. I really never knew it existed until I just see this video here. the difficulty of like change it to normal easy hard whatever you only get five credits in the game yeah pretty basic stuff all right i'll start the game and you can only select so what kind of misfits do we get to choose and fight against perhaps <laughs> some guy in a robot suit and another guy with a tank and they <laughs> okay some guy yeah they almost look exactly like due to the fact that they have the same blonde hair and stuff, but have different outfits. Hmm. And then we are co we are going to. Uh, hmm. Is that Michael or Wah from Shadow Man having two horns here? Oh wait, Shadow Man came way after this game. Hmm. But yeah. Kind of looks like Michael LeBois from, you know, Shadow Man. You all remember that? Anyway, let's uh, continue onward. Okay. Okay. The characters are called Steven, the guy on the left, and then, of course, Tyrone, this Mike Lewall look alike with those horns and 
Uh, some red pants. Okay, very, very goofy. Of course, as it is expected, looking very, very goofy indeed. And, uh, yeah, taking place in some Midwestern U.S. town, it looks like. Okay. Seems pretty fair enough. Okay, pretty fair and standard. Mm-hmm. Okay, another piece of shit you played in your youth. What is it? Ah, Ultraman. Yes, I knew about Ultraman from those Strotax worst fighting games list that I actually do remember seeing. Ah, yeah. How could I not forget about Ultraman? That I heard from the screw attack worst fighting games ever made. You all remember that? Oh well, finally we continue. Man, these Ultraman look cool. I mean, I like this three colored ball and sunglass they all use. You know what he kind of reminds me of? He reminds me of that retard off Stretcher Master. He's got that same hairdo, the same glasses. Except they just put a fucking robot suit on. <laughs> Yeah, robots. <laughs> and the computer's not even challenging him. Jeez, you want a real easy win? Just go up to him and just start throwing him repeatedly like this. All right. Where the hell is this going? I mean, I can just keep doing this repeatedly. He's got no chance. Okay. I mean, who designed the AI in this game? Seriously. <laughs> yeah, who designed the AI? Who? Yeah, little wind pose. Mm -hmm. This uh, this blonde guy, Steven, sure looks pretty goofy, as is as are the other characters in this game. Yeah, sorry for the video quality. I mean, this video is pretty old. It was from 2006, even though I saw this uh, video back in 2014, eight years after this. So, but uh, yeah, I know. Excuse the bad video quality on this. It's a very old video and a prank, and I think. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty low quality back then, so, yeah, yeah, I can't fault that, really. I guess the recording software really wasn't that good, what he, I guess the recording software he used really wasn't that good back then, unlike the recording software we have now. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. Fighting some clown, it looks like, with some staff or whatever that is. Oh, a pajama clown. <laughs> I just wonder who this could be. Who this could be. So, this clown's called Dozo. Hmm. <laughs> Still a very funny name. And then we're finding on top of, on, uh, above the city on, on, uh, on some steel. Damn, how do you call these in English? Yep, finding on top of what appears to be a building under construction. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Did the clown just did the clown just laugh? Did Dozo just laugh? <laughs> oh, and yeah, this other guy is also called Steven. Ah, okay, so yeah, the only character you play as is Steven, but in his two outfits that you just saw. Very clever. Not
Pretty standard. After you beat the shell, bows are the common weapon. Then you have these stupid little Okay. We're fighting some white bearded midget guy called Happy. Huh, on top of a truck, it looks like. Top of a of a non containerless trailer trailer truck. Driving along the highway that Ah, uh, the truck is actually driving on the left side of the road. Hmm. Was this some Japanese game or what was it? Hmm. Maybe it was, pr well, then again, this game was made in Japan. It was made by Irem, of course, but, uh, well, the developers of our type. And an attempt to make a fighting game, which, yeah, trying to cash in on the success and popularity and type of Street Fighter 2 that was out at the time. But, uh, yeah... Pretty bland, isn't it? And yeah, this midget guy, this little white bearded midget guy called Happy. Hmm. Yeah, yes, yes. Ah, so it's actually on top of a trailer on a truck. Ah, uh huh. Driving on a highway of sorts, well, or, yeah, on the left side of the road. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the next level. And, okay in some Japanese, Chinese, Asian garden, whatever you want to call them, with a, a punt, whatever. Fighting now against some, uh, some, some, uh, soldier guy with a sword called G.I. Jim. Yeah, very creative name. Well, not. Okay, let's watch. Let's continue watching. Hmm. He looks like Gaul and like Frankenstein's bastard love child or something. Like, look at his face. It looks like it's someone just took his face and just wiped like a big fat guy's ass with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just it's looked at it. And what kind of name is G.I. Jim? <laughs> Couldn't they have thought a better name than Happy? Couldn't they call him like Franken Retard or something? Or Gaul Tard or R Tard or something? <laughs> Uh, and then he cries when he gets defeated. <laughs> How a pan... Man, this guy's a pansy. <laughs> well, then again, these guys at Irem sure are pretty... Kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, all the characters in this game are basically just absolutely goofy as, you know, as they usually are. <laughs> Very goofy indeed. Oh, so what's interesting about it? Hmm. Was it, uh. Well. What is it really? Tell us! A fucked up translation of an anime based game that was released in Japan. It's really interesting. This game is actually a fucked up translation of an anime based game that was released in Japan. Oh, an anime based game? Ah, uh, so, this is a quote-unquote fucked-up translation of an anime-based game? Is that so? Hmm. Yeah, I really, really wonder on what anime this is really, really based off of. Well, Jedi 1, tell us! Tell us what it is. Is it... Dragon Ball Z, is it Fist of a North Star, or, well, what is it? Tell us! Right away! It's a game that was based from an anime called Anime Based Game that was released in Japan. And it's a game that was based from an anime called Rama One Half, one of my favorite animes, in fact. It was the first fighting game. 
Hmm. Ron Ma one half. Ron Ma one half. Hmm. I have never heard of this anime before. That is so interesting. I have never heard of this anime before. Hmm. Ranma one half. I have never heard of this anime before. Yay. I certainly wonder what this Rama one half game really looks like. Well, give it away. Ah, the first fighting game way before Street Fighter 2 was even out. Uh, at the time there was only the original Street Fighter or Fighting Street as it was called on the PC Engine or the uh, TurboGrafx-16. Alright, I'm excited to see what Rama 1 Half really looks like from the game based off of it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so yep, there it is. This is Ranma One Half. Part one. Hmm. Interesting. I certainly wonder who made this. Well, was it Irem, of course, who made this game? Or who else could have done this? Here's the original game coming up. Okay, it's made by a company called Masia. Hmm, Masia. Yeah, some katakana writing that, nah, I myself can't read, but perhaps you can, if you can read, that is. So, uh, mm-hmm, it's made by a company called Masia, so it's not Irem, like, like how I thought it was, well, because, well, they were behind R-Type, and they were behind Street Combat, but, well, this is the actual Street Combat, apparently, hmm. Never knew about that. Here's the original game coming up. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, and it says Ranma Nibonoichi. Hmm. So Nibonoichi obviously means one half in Japanese. So, uh, mm hmm. That is pretty interesting. Ah, made in 1992. Probably a year before Street Combat was even released. And, uh, yeah, some Japanese text I cannot read, sadly. Can't read it. Yeah. Ugh, man, my nose is itching. I don't know what. I don't know why. Okay, let's take a look at this Ranma one half game, whatever that is. I mean, sure, it looks kind of cool. I mean, it sure looks looks like it. Okay, some very Chinese music, huh? Is this anime set in China or what? Or is Rama a Chinese person or whatever that is? So, is Rama also wearing some suit and some tank top, whatever? Hmm. Or, well, 
Is that character even called Rama? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Or what exactly is Rama about? Hmm. Is it about some mare called Rama? Is it about some artifact called Rama? I mean, what exactly is Rama, really? Some kind of entity or what? Or is it even a person? Ja, who could it be? Or what could it be? Okay, so, hmm. Okay, some red-haired girl with a ponytail and a red Chinese suit. Hmm. And some blue eyes. Mm-hmm. And then we have some some guy with those huge rounded glasses wearing some kind of white bandana or something and or like a white suit or whatever that is. So there's some guy. Yeah, and this girl. And then this one other again. Looks like a girl again. But with purple hair. Hmm. With dark purple hair. Still having blue eyes like the other one. Yeah. Who that is, I really, really don't know. But Jedi One could tell us because he is a fan of Rama One Half because and I and I'm not. Because I have never heard of this anime, like I said. Okay. Back. So let so we can hear who this boy and this girl are. Ah, uh, so this, so this boy here and this one girl, they're actually, they're, um, uh, sorry. So this boy and this girl that I'm seeing here, well, they're both called Ranma, so... They are the same person? I mean, okay. How do they how does Rama transform from boy to girl? I mean how is it really? I mean how? How? Is it some kind of a magic spell or something? Hmm. I have absolutely no idea. Okay. As for this guy here. I certainly wonder what his name is. Ah, okay, it's a karate uniform. And this guy is called Genma. Okay, Genma. Is that uh, his teacher or what? Is that his dojo teacher or what? His grandfather, whoever. I mean, who is he really? Who is he? Oh, and it's set on some Japanese street somewhere in Japan, I guess. Or it could be, you know, like China, or it could be Hong Kong, or you know, wherever it could be. It could be, of course, down. It could be, of course, Chinatown, New York, whatever. Yeah. I really don't know the setting of Rama one half. Hmm. Yay. Once again, like I said, this is a reenactment of when I saw this for the first time in 2014. Just keep it in mind. This is a reenactment. Like I said. Okay. Oh, and this boy here. Yeah. Rama. I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, Ranma, whoever that is. Hmm. Yay, night and day difference, night and day difference. Yeah, I just saw... Oh, it kind of looks like a dark-skinned Heihachi, but with uh, red hair, apparently. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay, since the 1990s, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it must have been an early 90s anime, I suppose. And, well, I suppose Rama 1 Half really was big. But still, I still have no clue what Rama 1 Half really is. So, let's move on. Hmm. Nope, no pressure. Oh, wait, did I see something? Oh. Okay, Rama giving out a peace sign. Yay. As if I actually really care about it. But wait, what was that background? Let me just uh, take a look at that wallpaper he had back then. Closer. Okay, there it was, around 6.05, so. Let me just have a look at that background a little quick. Ah, shit, there it goes again. Ah, come on. Let me just look at that nice, nice uh, wallpaper he had at the time when he made the review that I hadn't seen at the time, but 2014. Okay, yeah, once again, reenactment. Okay. Ah, Detective Conan. Kugoro, and of course, that wife, the lawyer, the his wife, the lawyer that... Ah, I keep forgetting her name. Okay, Shinichi, Ron. Mm -hmm. Ah, and some of the black organization people, I guess. Gin Vodka, is it? Yeah, I keep forgetting her name, really. I keep forgetting her name. Well, yeah. Nice background. Uh, nice wallpaper, by the way. Nice wallpaper. Yeah. Okay, next up. Some purple-haired woman here. Perhaps her teacher or something. Oh, some purple roses here. Hmm. Yeah, and some kind of suit. I mean, okay. A very nice looking chick here. Some purple hair. I mean, hmm. Looks kind of neat. So, I wonder who this could be. Uh, yeah, Kodachi, hmm, one of Ranma's rivals, hmm, interesting, yeah, I just wonder since when do Rama and Kodachi ever become rivals, is it because of some loved one they were fighting over, or, you know, some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, thing or whatever they were fighting for or something I mean what is it exactly between the two that they have a hatred for each other I mean what really is it oh and ah uh, yeah the girl is also called Rama yeah yeah I just uh, I just saw that oh uh, apparently her his her suit is now orange for some reason instead of red like in the Character select screen. That is pretty weird. Weird. Hmm. Those are the clowns. Crack tricks. Unlike fighting some generic punk, he's one of Robin's rivals. Unlike fighting some generic punk, those are the clowns. Crack tricks. <laughs> Even though this is a Robin and a half game. 
it is so sucks. It's so pretty crap. Mm-hmm. I don't hate this version as much as the Street Combat version. Ooh, and some very cheesy music. And of course, some very cheesy music and some some kind of uh, yeah, very uh, very run of the mill Chinese style music playing all over. I mean, yeah, sounds very cheesy and so on. I mean, is this how even in the anime it sounded like? I don't really know. I really have nothing to say about this game, honestly. I mean, I am no Rama one half fan because I never knew about Rama one half until I saw the very video you made just uh, recently in 2014. So I really don't know much about Rama one half. So I really have nothing really else to say about this. Okay, we're in some dojo now, and, uh, okay, this, uh, this goblin, this long, this huge-nosed, white-haired goblin thing, carrying a blue bag, is also called Happy, hmm, and, of course, we get some random people here watching as the whole action unfolds. Yeah, some random people here in the crowd. Hmm. Yeah, some random people here in the crowd. Whoever that, whoever those could be, I don't know. Oh, what? What did? What? What did Happy or whatever just bleed? Ah, uh, apparently he's bleeding underwear. Hmm. Some kind. You see some kind of underwear fever. What? Yeah. I mean, does he really, really steal underwear? But for what purpose? Ah, uh, I, I just don't know. I really, 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 really don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, this little goblin midget guy called Happy Bleeding Panties or underwear, whatever. That is kind of tasteless. Okay, some more random people here that I don't know who, no clue who they really, really are. Well, there could be any person, any, anyone, anybody. I don't care. Or maybe I do care, but I don't know really who they are. I don't know. I really, really don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me just... Hold on. Back, back, back. Okay, some... Of what looks to be someone with, uh, like a bison with horns and wings, does it look like? Or what could that be? I just don't know. Okay, some other chick there, but eh, I don't really know who they are. Because I have no clue what Robo One Half really is, so. Oh well, at least I am hearing it for the first time through the video game that uh, 
Jedi One is indeed showing to us via the street combat review that he's current that he has uh, done here. So let's continue. Okay, Kuno. Whoever that is. Okay, some white. Uh, okay, kimono, whatever that is, and oh. And a sword. Oh, that shoots lightning bolts. Hmm. Ah, and the same uh, Asian background that we saw in Street Combat mm -hmm, when we were fighting G.I. Jim. Yes. Oh, and this, uh. Okay, it's some wooden sword, sort of, kind of. Mm hmm. Sprite looks ten times fucking better because he has a, a fucking doll and a Frankenstein on his crack. Alright. Notice the difference. Alright, now back to the Yeah, race. night and day difference. Okay. Now we're back in the dojo, now fighting some other goblin midget guy on uh on some one on some wooden staff. Oh, and with long hair. Named Kalon. Colon, 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 whatever that is, colon, hmm, some other goblin pointed nose magic guy, or girl, whoever that is, I don't really know, yay, okay, throwing fruits, mm-hmm, Ah, so Cologne is female. Hmm. And from what we saw, she throws, you know, foods and noodle bowls at uh, Ranma. Mm hmm. Great. aren't too bad to hit, but the fucking rocks are hard as shit to hit. Because your kick just go right over it like that. I got hit again. You have to hit, you have to time your punches just right and able for it to fucking hit. Because of these fucking sucky ass moves. Some of them do like five moves in this, in this entire game. Fucking shit. Man, fuck you, you old bitch. Suck my cock. Okay, now we are fighting some purple-haired girl with uh, with a nice pink suit and some nice green eyes. I yeah, yeah, a purple-haired girl. I just really wonder what her name is. Hmm. Shampoo? This is shampoo? Is that really shampoo? Yeah. Who exactly is shampoo, I wonder? Just who? Okay, on a bridge. Okay, and now, and now Shampoo just became Lita in Street Combat. Hmm. Yeah, Lita making me think of Lita from, you know, from when she was in WWE, WWF. Mm hmm. Still pretty cheesy and generic as ever. Just, just the fucking, 
Let's see. Okay, Ryoga. Mm hmm. Okay, let's have a nice look at Ryoga here. Okay, some some bigger hair. Uh, go a yellow headband and a yellow suit and some brown pants. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good enough. Yeah, Ryoga. Whatever his last name is, I don't really know, but yeah. It's Ryoga, whoever that is. Oh, man, my nose is itching yet again. Uh, I don't really hate it when it's itching, but yeah. Okay, back. Alright, for the last stage, you fight against Ryoga. You just kick his ass here. In our version, they put in a fucking Power Ranger. Look at that shit. A fucking Power Ranger. Named CJ. Oh. Not to be confused with the CJ that we know so well. You know, from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. You know, Grove Street. Everyone knows him. Except this is not the CJ we know. The, however... Not the same CJ that we know. But yeah, still very cheesy to say that later. Okay, yeah. CJ. Mm hmm. Very, very goofy. As well, like ever. Yay. Yay. What a disgrace. Just kick his ass here. In our version, they put in a fucking Power Ranger. Look at that shit. He's got a fucking red spandex on. Oh my god. I seriously want to assassinate whoever designed this character. <laughs> I just want to fucking yeah, who me. actually did this? Alright, this is saving the effort. I'm gonna... Okay. Ryoga looking old if we... Oh, and... Oh, his headband got leopard prints. Hmm. Leopard prints, I guess. Okay, yeah. Standing. Okay, with, uh, yeah. Looking all dazed and defeated. Mm hmm. Let's continue. Sure. The end. This is the ramen and a half end. You can see Ryoga got his ass kicked by Ramen, okay? And then this is, I guess, the epilogue or whatever. Ah, uh, Kasumi. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah. Sorry for the terrible visuals. Because yeah, this is still an old video with some crappy recording back then. Yeah. Okay. Kasumi. Yeah. The only Kasumi I can think of is the one from Dead or Alive. Of course. The blue suited ninja chick that everyone knows so well yay so there is of course the lovely Kasumi here no clue what she is doing here and for what purpose she's doing there I have certainly no clue what her role in this uh, in that anime is because I've never seen it before I've never heard of it, like I said before. Okay, back. I'm gonna show you the end. This is the ramen and half end. You can see Ryoga got his ass kicked by ramen, okay? And then this is, I guess, the epilogue or whatever. And you see Kasumi saying something in Japanese, but I can't really tell. All you know is that they had some kind of party. Okay, so there's Rama again, and then there's some girl, okay, some purple-haired girl, some blue-haired girl with uh, uh, what looks to be some uh, baby blue vest and wearing a white shirt, hmm, or could that be a guy? I don't really know, a boy, probably 
probably Rama's brother, maybe, or probably his sister, or whoever that is, maybe his girlfriend, or his, you know, his best mate in school, I mean, who exactly is this? I don't really know. Okay, some older guy, and some woman, I assume, with brown hair, and some pink suit, okay. And some Chinese monk guy, and then, okay, some uh, some guy with a tush and some long hair and blue kimono, whatever. Ugh, and a panda. A panda. A panda. Hmm. Okay, having a little party and so on. Oh. And probably what I assume is this happy guy, this, uh, yeah, this uh, happy guy. Uh, sorry, Mom. Wait, uh, come on. Shut up. Come on, just shut up. Sorry about the, sorry about, once again, I cut it out. Okay, yeah, having a nice, nice party with uh, chicken and, you know, chicken sticks and and drinking sake, I guess. And yeah, this, uh, this midget happy guy also having a nice party out, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, then, let's continue. But they're like, I, all you know is that they had some kind of party. And they're like, I guess they're drunk or something like that. And you see Rama get all scared and all that shit. Mm -hmm. That's the fucking ending for this game. That's basically it. Congratulations, fucking lady. Here's the street combat. Okay, so the chibi Rama and the chibi of probably assume was of course that boy or girl whoever now chasing uh, after Ranma hmm whoever that name it whoever his or her name is I just oh okay so that's a female I guess that could be her his girlfriend or perhaps his sister whoever I mean I don't really know I don't know I really don't know Mm-hmm. Congrats, you fucking lady. Here's the street combat. Alright. You see this flash of the screen. Then this guy comes up with a trophy saying, Congrats, you fucking lady. You just wasted your time playing this horrible game. And you just wasted $50 as well. Don't play this game or the Rama and Abby. I don't care if you're a Rama fan. These games just plain suck. These games are just a slap in the face of Street Fighter games everywhere. That's all I gotta say. Jedi down. 